bought this uh, Singer Graflex StudyMate 2 microfilm. A film strip projector off of eBay for 10 bucks plus shipping. Said it didn't work, but they're quite simple. You put a film in and then you forward it, and there's a bulb in the back. And so I took the first of all, I took the thing apart, and the bulb that was in it was burned out. And so <clears throat> I thought, well, I'll just replace the bulb. I bought one for five bucks off of uh, Amazon and it didn't work so then I tested with my meter the socket when it's plugged in it's supposed to be a 120 volt and it didn't uh, get any power so I took the thing apart and down in there is that uh, socket and so since I'm not getting power to it Essentially, the cord goes in and down there to the socket. So, my guess is, is the cord itself might be a problem where they bend here and that. And so I thought, well, what I'd do is see if I could take it apart and get down to where the cord is. There are a few screws. Might have to have a Thinner. Let me get my glasses on. All right. It's actually well, uh, Phillips, but it has little bitty screws like this. Put my parts in a. It looks like there are just four holding the back on, plastic back on this unit. I've got about. Okay, my uh, battery went out, so I think there are two screws. Hmm, can't get a, enough pressure on it. My screwdriver is too weak. <laughs> Big screwdriver fit it. And a magnetic one appears to be one on the back here that's looked like some adjustment thing here's two here which I believe put this little frame in. Let's see if it the knob and the switch are split. Should we see if it will pop apart?
Well, it's got a little ridge over it. There. Wants to come, but down here seems to be stuck. There's the crank unit and the other unit. A couple of uh, lenses, which you need to be cleaned. A mirror, which I'll clean. And then this is the bulb unit. And so the electricity comes in. Okay, I'll show you it's unplugged comes in on the brown wires to the switch. And then from the switch to the bulb. So there's no transform or anything, it just runs it at the right voltage. And it's tied there together. So The one wire from the outlet, all right, the one outlet comes in here, and then the other one, and then that goes through white out, and then the other cord is under this thing here, it's hooked to the... <clears throat> I want to get that off. It's pinched pl plier down there. Well, it goes from here to the uh, bulb socket. And that has a couple of screws holding it in. So, other than Cleaning these lenses, they're glued in, it looks like. I need to see if I've got electricity here. And so I really need to take this. Well, I don't need to take that off. If I took this off here, this clamp, and replaced it, then I could test the electricity at the cord in because I can't touch the can't get to well that's the red one of course that doesn't help me either I don't know which one's red inside and it could be the switch is shot too so one thing is I can check a continuity across here if I had an ohmmeter that worked and otherwise I can test the with the switch flipped if I'm getting electricity in I had kind of thought they in the area where it bends here sometimes they go but that looked pretty good the other place it can go bad in the cord itself which looks fine in the plug itself which looks fine. So we'll suspect the switch. Well, I think I'll take that thing off. Probably need a pliers.
might be a replacement one. So, we're going to try to take this connector unit off. Oh, that's crimped in there nicely. got extra cord if I cut the string in there. Let me get my scissors. So the string is loose. So I think we can just take this thing off. And then replace it after we test. I don't have a working volt ohmmeter. All right, so here are the two the cords coming in, kind of short. I need a little bit of bare wire. Actually, probably don't put the probe on these two let's see where did I put my here's my meter Says 250. Plug this into an outlet. Now, nothing is touching there, nothing is touching there. Should we see if we got any electricity? So it comes into the switch, switch is on, so let's see if it's coming out of the switch. Well, I used my meter here and uh, tested why it's not getting electricity to the bulb, and it turns out that I've got electricity through the cord into this uh, rocker switch, but it isn't going out. So I can, I'm going to take and unsolder the connections, and then I, I'll see if I can find a bulb. But as a test, I mean, I don't need to be able to shut off the bulb. I can unplug it if I need to just to see if it works. I cleaned the lenses a little bit with some uh, lens cl cleaner and the mirror. Uh, I'm not really sure 
this is a little lens too. And you, oh I see, has a set screw on the back so you adjust it for the best image and then you tighten it up I guess for the magnification. Interesting. So it's really a light source with a diffuser screen, two concave convex lenses like that and then another lens and a mirror which reflects, the mirror reflects onto this screen here and then a mechanism for uh, turning it ahead and back. Get oil, put a little lubricant on that. Okay, I got my soldering gun that I got for a dollar. I keep the price tag on it at a garage sale. Smelled like it was warming up. I have my dinner plate here. I have to reach over and get my glasses, reading glasses. All right. So let's see if we can unsolder this. Doesn't have much heat. Haven't used it for a while. Probably got corroded. Oh, it's melting, I guess. <laughs> I thought it. But there, that was pretty bad. Thought maybe it would come off. It's probably wrapped around there or something, so it won't come off even when I pull it. Huh. It's really in there. Well, we'll clip it. Should we try one more? That one looks like it's uh, less wire there. There. Need another hand. Plug this thing. Switch is not working. Red for on. So let's test to make sure. I've put in some batteries in my uh, multimeter here. 
when it was wired up it didn't work so let me put it on to ohm continuous has a faint beep oh there it works Let's try again. Man, yeah, maybe it doesn't work. Yeah, kind of poor corroded a little bit on my okay it's turned on no it isn't working I had a little so of course before we give up on that we better look inside don't you think and see what's wrong my wife probably will give me a pair of use of pliers. Usually these tabs are good for maybe one extra band and then they break off. One bent out. Big of pliers. Two bent out. A little more. I shouldn't have to take the other side off. Well, we just pulled our rocker switch apart to see what it is. This is just a little round thing that pushes down. This is where the wires hook on. And on this side, there's a little copper plate that snaps down if you switch it one way. And I don't know if you can see that. Two contacts go. It's quite sticky like it's been has some uh, grease that wore out in it right on this side it's sticky and then the problem is is I don't know if I can make this focus that close but right in there I'll pull it down a ways it's not making contact so I got a fingernail file here we'll gently up oh, there is the That's a point. Um, so I'll file the point just like on a tractor. And, and then it uh, makes contact with just with this uh, piece of metal. So I'll file that just a little bit. Oh, that looks clean. Now this sets. <coughs> This should clean it up just a little. It's kind of sticky on this side. It's like it's been had some grease dry out on it. So then that fits into it just sets right in. I can't hardly see that close. Hmm. 
I haven't got it down in. It has to go exactly over two little pins into two little notches. All right, that is on with that down. <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, it didn't call out. Let's try this again. Okay, so this has to go to be on, has to be this way and that way there. Push it on, push it on. Well, that's tricky. Well, let's push it off and push it off. All right, off. Slide this under the things. What's the chances I actually have the rocker? Yep, it's, <laughs> it's stuck. So it's not in the right position. All right, there. Oh, that come out again. I think maybe I'll figure out my a switch in the cord. I'll just put a, a switch right in the cord. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Okay, that's off. The switch is off. So it has to go like this. Probably like that. Ooh. Let's bend the tabs in and pretend it's going to work. I'll bend them in a little. Enough to hold it. That's not holding it down. A little bit of a spring on it. <laughs> I hope you can see better than I can on this. All right, what's our chances the meter will? Okay, so I'm off on. It's a pretty, pretty quiet noise. Works. So on off. So now I have to just hook these on and off. So when it's on. I want to feed the this thing through it. You know, I don't have really enough slack in there. I should take that grommet out. Forget how these work. They go you push them through this way so they have to be pinched and shove through the other way, as I recall. Oh, I don't think I can do that without wrecking it. 
Well, I guess I got enough cord there. The uh, I have to look at my picture to remember which end went where. I need to strip these a little bit out the window here. I got. Uh, I'm feeding some birds out there on the driveway. Pheasants. Uh, I can't see it from here. Didn't focus. We uh, took the switch off, the rocker switch off, cleaned the points in it. Uh, we had to unsolder the wires and then solder them back together, put the wires back in. And so now, in theory, it should be workable. And rather than actually uh, spend a lot of time testing it this way, I'm going to actually stick the cover on it so I don't have shock myself. We might as well just go ahead and stick a bulb in there and uh, see what uh, happens. Huh? You got two bulbs, five bucks each, 120 volt, two pin. Uh, I think it said 120 volt to, I don't know, a couple amp. So there is each of these bayonets are the same place. So, and it tips in like this. So if I put it in like this. Should make the should turn, so you push it into the the slots, shove it down, and then twist it without twisting the bulb off. <laughs> now we'll plug her in. It's turned off. So let's see what happens, shall we? Now, let's put on the back panel, and I can screw it together, but I think before I screw it all together, I will actually, well, I better screw some of it together. It has a flat blade. I thought probably when I ordered it, the bulb would be the problem, and somebody had just tried it and said the bulb wouldn't, was used off of eBay. But uh, it uh, actually was the switch and the bulb were bad. So, let's put a few of these screws in the frame. 
Oh, there's different length ones. And little washers. Short ones probably go on the handle. Probably go down here. I used this magnet one, I believe, to. Yeah, that fits it. quite set on there right there was a little bit off more on the top. Now, let's take a look if we turn it on, if we have some not very good light, well, let's put in a film strip and see. I just so happen to have one here. Insert the film here, no, probably like this. Five millimeter film. All right, light on, dim as can be. Oh, because that's ah. So now I think the thing on the back, this thing here is the focus. We'll slide the lens along. Oh, looks like it's trying to focus. I probably got something out of out of place inside, huh? Oh, there it is. So I have to put it all the way down. Tighten up the set screw. Hmm. 
Okay, well that wasn't right. Ugh. Oh, it's upside down, but... Right about there. Now, tighten it a little bit more. Okay, so we're upside down, so we need to roll it backwards. Upside down, huh? So I think that means we get a We don't want to reverse it. We want to just run the other end in, maybe, huh? Yeah, this looks like a better start. So I stick the film in, turn the crank until I see the first image. Whoa! It's right side up, but backwards. Try this. There's only f four different ways I can do this. This will be my third try. Classroom film strips. Bring the world into your classroom. All right. Now that it's working, I can take it out to the museum, or I could go back on eBay and sell it as a working machine instead of for $10, maybe for $30. Huh? Alright, so now once you got it in place, then this advances one off on the huh. I have to figure out how to feed it right I'm off a little bit on the Must not have started it right. Well, we'll worry about that. You got it running. <laughs> Good. 